Good day, everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, some work in Photoshop. Uh, recently, I've done a few images where I've done some black and white effects with uh, posterize and um, a threshold effect. I don't know the exact name of them because there's so many effects and you know ways to do things in Photoshop. I don't know the name of them, so I'm going to call this the black and white posterized threshold effect. Uh, so, like I said, I've been doing this a lot uh, recently with some of my images. And just, uh, it's actually a nice effect because it's not exactly the official threshold effect. So as you can see, this is the threshold effect now. You know, it's quite bland, you know, no effect, no detail. It's just white and black pretty much. But with, if you posterize that, it actually brings out more of the detail in the buildings and around as well. So, um... I should have said um, I'm going to use this image of the um, New York City. This is when I was, I was back in New York in 2011, it's just as a sample image, so it's a long time ago now. So yeah, uh, like I said, I'm going to call this the black and white threshold posterized effect. And I really like this effect, so I've seen a lot of other people do it, and might as well just um, show you guys as well if you don't know it. So let's go up to Filter Gallery, and there's a few ways of doing this as, as, as well if which is I like as well. Playing around with the edge intensity so you can bring out more of the intensity there. It's more of the edge thickness that can bring out more of the detail as well so just bring out the thickness there and the posterize I'll leave around that mm, two maybe a little more no I think it's about two so I'll keep it at that and then I'll go into and threshold that. So as you can see, we can go into the dark. So again, no detail. But if you come into the white, see before how everything was just completely diffused out white. Now, well, now there's detail in the background as well with the buildings. But now the black in front is the black. So, but if you bring it out more, it's like a nice cutout, you know, coloring in book drawing. It's like one of those nice drawings where you can you know, play around with and color in. Really cool effect. That I mean, I, I really like that. And that's why I decided to go with, like, New York City because, you know, the buildings, it has a lot of, you know, lines and detail in the buildings and the architectures as well. So that's one part of the effect that's really cool. But also, you know, you can bring out the blacks and then you can bring out more of the detail, as you can see, in that background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer and then I'm going to actually, I might do that the other way around. I'll get rid of that. And I might do the whites. Get the white detail. I want a bit of blacks in it, so that's actually good. It's actually about right. So then I'm going to go with another threshold layer. And as you can see, the blacks, I'm going to spread that to the black areas so and then I'll bring out more detail in the background to about there so then I've got detail in the back so now I'm gonna go back to this layer here this image here and then I'm gonna mask this in and then I can bring out the detail back into all of this area so then I'll have some detail all around the image instead of and then I might do another layer I'll just see how this goes because I'll, I'll have a fully full black one but just got to as well watch um, and yeah the opacity yeah see I like the I don't want it at a hundred percent because I think I did this with another image and it just you could see a lot of the difference so I've just got to be careful around here and I might actually this side down. See, as you can see, the, you're losing already some detail in there. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go back a few of the history. Yeah, that's about there. So I'm going to take down the opacity so I can still have some detail in some of the buildings. So as you can see, I've still got, you can still look out, unlike if you just went with the one threshold, you know, that would be completely white. 
or completely black. Uh, I might even put the opacity down even less. It's cool to play around with, uh, I really like this effect. It's actually a lot of playing around and I really like it. Um, yeah, so I might put in there. I want to keep some of the black details um, around in the image. As you can see in the distance, the buildings. Uh, yeah, that's about right. Okay, so then I'm going to go back. I want to put all of that. So, actually, no, I don't want it. Around 82% was actually quite good. Just make that size bigger, and then I can bring everything back in here. Just got to watch that part, but I'll bring everything back. And then I can actually take out this black sky as well while I'm here. So it's coming together pretty well. Just got to watch the opacity because in some parts it'll get... Yeah, as you can yeah. Actually, I'm gonna bring the flow down a bit too. So as you can see, a lot, a lot of the parts actually go white quicker. Yeah, it's better. So yeah, you can see down there that I think that's a Statue of Liberty down there. So you can actually go and look all the way back down there as well. Yeah, you can see all the way down there. So it's actually really looking really good. Take out that parts as well. Yeah, so there's not a lot of detail in there anyway, so I was just wondering, because there is a bit of a white area in there, but that actually looks like about right in the actual image. But you can look out over there in the in the distance, the bridges, and uh, across there, that's New Jersey over there. Oh, yes, and the top of the built Empire State. So that's looking quite good. Um, yeah, so that's a... No, too much. Yep, that's it. Just a little bit too much in there, yeah. But yeah, that's it for uh, today. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video and just show you guys this. Um, really like it again. Um, I really like this effect. It's not a simple threshold effect like I just showed you in the intro. You know, it's playing around with the posterize and get a lot of detail back in the buildings and you know, I really like this effect. It's like a real cutout coloring in effect and really like it. So, uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.